Ever wondered about the mysterious sea angel, often referred to as an alien of the ocean? Or what about the enigmatic creature discovered by scientists at an astounding depth of over 26,200 feet? And there's even a fish that walks instead of swimming. Join me in this video as we uncover these wonders. We'll delve deep into the ocean's depths to reveal its rarest inhabitants, creatures so remarkable they've captivated the world. Stay tuned till the end for an eye-opening journey. Let's dive in. The Rarest Shark In the morning, people in the UK spotted a rare false cat shark. There are only around 250 of these sharks left in the world. The shark was discovered by a 38-year-old woman who was walking along the shore with her two children. At first, she thought it was a prank, but as she got closer, she realized it was a real shark. However, it didn't look like a typical shark at all. The woman called for help, but it took about two hours for someone to arrive. It's unclear how long the shark had been there before it was found. Unfortunately, it was not possible to save the shark. It's worth noting that false cat sharks have never been found in UK waters before. They prefer warmer and more comfortable climates. In addition to their rarity, these sharks are also known for their non-aggressive behavior towards people despite their intimidating appearance. These animals can grow up to almost 13 feet in length and weigh around 660 pounds. Angle Shark The next creature in question is also on the verge of extinction. The population of the angel shark has been declining rapidly for the last 50 years. Why would you think that's the case? After all, the angel shark is capable of doing many things. Like the stingray, this shark has fins that look like wings and a flat body that can sink into the sand. Why would it do that? To ambush, of course. Like other sharks, the angel shark has powerful jaws, which it quickly extends outward, capturing an unaware opponent with them. The hunting style of this underwater creature is incredibly simple, yet time-tested and extremely effective. The shark hides in the sand, and as soon as a potential prey swims near it, it grabs it in one lightning-fast jerk. Another angel. There have been many sightings of underwater angels lately. A Russian biologist named Alexander Semenov, who specializes in invertebrates, accidentally filmed an amazing inhabitant known as the Sea Angel while studying the vastness of the White Sea. These cold-water mollusks are among the most studied creatures in neurobiology, but little is known about their life cycle. Usually, a few mollusks suddenly appear under a layer of ice covering the sea, and after a few weeks, they become so numerous that up to 500 individuals are found in one cubic meter. This is a spectacular sight considering their length of 1 to 2 inches. The scientist was very lucky to have found them because these angels usually swim at depths of 1,640 feet or more, which is the depth at which they kill water snails. Do you know how this cute mollusk kills its prey? I'll tell you right away. Turning the target to itself, the mollusk extends its jaws, studded with stiff chitinous bristles, in the style of alien. With this apparatus, the sea angel scrapes the snail out of its shell and grinds it up with a grater called radula. All that's left of the prey is an empty shell. Surprisingly, the sea angel itself lives well. It can scare others with such a method, but rarely anyone touches it because it secretes a special enzyme that makes it far from the most delicious, and for someone, it's completely ineatable. The Mysterious Jellyfish I've seen a lot of jellyfish in my life. There were classic small ones, rare ones, very large and bright ones, and even transparent ones that one can't notice. But this jellyfish exceeded all my expectations. Off the coast of New Ireland, near Papua New Guinea, a diver filmed an unusual creature the size of a soccer ball, which Bell was covered with a pattern of black rings, spots, and lines. Zoologists from all over the world carefully studied this material, but no one could say for sure to what species this creature belonged. Most likely, science has never encountered it before. According to the diver, this jellyfish was swimming swiftly, somewhere not drifting with the current. Who knows, maybe the guy should have followed it further. Maybe that's where the clue would have been. What do you think? Blanket octopus. It's amazing what Mother Nature can create. 
This time, science has identified a rare common blanket octopus. Octopuses are some of the most fascinating creatures of the sea, and they are masters of disguise. This particular octopus has incredible swimming abilities and can cut through the water's surface with ease. Scientists have identified four species of these octopuses, but the most basic one has a silver-violet coloration. The octopus has four large tentacles on its back and a thin membrane that looks like a white, floating blanket. The center tentacles are longer than the side tentacles. This octopus is distinguished from its relatives by its iridescent colors, but it's not something to envy, especially for male octopuses. After mating, the male octopus will likely die or lose one of its tentacles, which will remain with the female for a better period. Females may keep two or three of these artifacts waiting for a favorable moment for insemination. However, even in this sad moment, there are some advantages to be found. After fertilization, the female will lay about 100,000 eggs, which means that the population of the blanket octopus is not threatened. The deepest fish. I wonder what a fish found at a depth of over 26,200 feet would look like. I guess it would be all dark and without eyes because it's very hard to withstand the pressure down there. And I don't even know, it would be kind of inactive, right? No, it wouldn't. A group of scientists from Japan and Australia broke the previous record and took unique pictures of a fish from the sea snail's family. I wonder why fish live so deep in the water in the first place. Don't they naturally want to go a little higher? At least a couple of thousand meters. It's unlikely that the creatures would change much, and it would definitely be easier to breathe and exist in general. Why do you think they don't do it? Write in the comments. Perpetually disgruntled fish. A diver in the Caribbean was searching for something rare and unusual when he came across a red-lipped batfish. Unlike its closest relatives, the sea devils, this fish has transformed its pectoral and ventral fins into limbs to travel along the seabed. Its movement is similar to a new evolutionary circle of fish. The Galapagos batfish, as it is also known, lives near the Galapagos Islands where Darwin discovered new species. Over time, the Galapagos batfish will change the shape of its dorsal fin to a single fin, but this will not affect its way of life. Despite its perpetually disgruntled appearance, this bottom dweller will never learn to swim better. Unusual Friendship have you ever heard of an Asian sheepshed wrasse? No, but the Japanese diver in this story has. In fact, he's been visiting this fish as his best friend for 25 years. The pair's relationship has become so close that the sheepshed wrasse even allows the Japanese diver to pet and kiss itself. The friendship between these two began as soon as the man found the fish at the gate of the underwater park where he works. According to him, it was very weak and couldn't get its own food. The man fed it with crabs for 10 days and the animal regained its strength. Such care could not pass without a trace and the man unwittingly became attached to the fish. Actually, as the fish became attached to him. In general, this creature will not let everyone treat itself like this. After all, it grows up to 5 feet in length and has tough and crooked, but quite long and strong teeth. Mother Nature thought that such distinctive features would not be enough for the Asian sheepshed wrasse and in return gifted it with the ability to change sex. Throughout its long life, the sheepshed wrasse can become male or female as needed. If there are not enough males in the population, it'll be a male. If there are not enough females, it'll be a female. Now that's what I call proper adaptation. Jellyfish a group of marine biologists from the United States recently captured footage of a little-known jellyfish. At first, they mistook it for a drone or someone else's equipment, but upon closer inspection, they realized it was a unique underwater creature. The jellyfish has two rows of tentacles, with one row pointing up and the other pointing down. The reason for this arrangement is unknown. It's unclear how many of these jellyfish exist in the world's oceans today. The biologists were careful not to get hypnotized by the jellyfish's mesmerizing dance as they held the camera steady to capture the footage. Which creature impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.